Just be truthful to yourself, irrespective of where you are coming from or who you are, irrespective of your tribe, religion, or ethnicity. You go agree with me, say, Oh, man, <laughs> wait till you remain now. Eh? I don't even know what to say. Because what is this? Is this what we subscribe for? No, now. You go, don't hear them say strike, don't begin today now. Okay, you know, no. They don't start to. Have you here anywhere? I said they don't call them off. Now, indefinite. What did they cost the matter? Minimum wage. Eh? Organized labor is saying, you know, guy, you can't keep billing everybody. This government is billing everybody. You are not creating prosperity. And you are billing everybody on a daily. Talk about the elect electricity tariff. You they bill us. Eh? You can't come out for a subsidy. Everything don't high. So, why are you billing Nigerians? Since you, you, are, you are the one that made the, the, the policies that are not favorable for the Nigerian people. Pe people are suffering. And you are still billing them on top of your useless policies. Eh? Or they don't matter. Is it good? Ngwano, I won't give you one person who will help me reason this matter with me and they talk. He's no other person who I know I'm now. They left a me. Retired lawyer. He said, you know, they practice again. Say the profession has been bastardized. He better say make he answer a retired lawyer. I mean, no answer lawyer again. I wait him using my talk. When I go here, wait him guys talk about this government. Eh? And why we are not making headways? What is the problem? When I go here, make I not talk too much. I give you now daily faru to me. Watch this video when we come back. Can you have some discussions? Go watch. I'm not sure anybody serious was actually expecting anything from this administration those who are serious about any expectation of change did not have an issue support this administration so i'm not sure that anyone who had genuine hopes have had their hopes dashed this administration has done exactly what it promised to do which is nothing because I would imagine that if you're serious about youth employment, one of the fastest ways to do that would be to have dealt with the scourge of insecurity, which would have enabled a whole lot of return to the, to the um, rural area. But what you're seeing is an accelerated pace of rural despoilation and people moving to urban centers. That simply explains to you that the security situation is not getting any better so you really cannot move people back towards the rural communities hence you cannot move the youth into farming in any significant number so i'm not sure and if, if, if you even look at education you find that the only thing that is really happening with the youth population is that they are fleeing they are fleeing largely because of the seeming hopelessness of our situation they are fleeing so, so I'm not sure anyone who expect there is nobody can who can really say that they genuinely expected that some miracle would happen with youth employment under this administration. Outside of the most obvious for me, which is the rule of law, which would engender confidence both of the local populace and even of those who might wish to invest in our local economy. Outside of that, I would imagine to access, that access to credit is probably the most important thing that you could give to the youth to enable them or anyone else who is desirous of creating wealth to come out of poverty. Because if the only credit available to people are credit in the 30s, you are paying 30 something percent interest, what real investment can be done with such atrocious rates the central bank own rate is in the 20s so i would imagine that any government that is desirous of creating wealth would address the paucity of credit in the system because without access to credit that is before you now begin to deal with all the other infrastructure that should be in place that are not in place outside of the lack of of the rule of law that already governs impunity governs our space to now have to lay down more failures on top of that 
if impunity were governing the place and you had a credible credit system, you had security, if we didn't have to deal with the multiple layers of problems that have been that are on top of the insecurity, the lack of credit in the system, then maybe. But the way things are right now is a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you don't deal with these sundry issues, you really cannot turn things around. Perhaps they should resign. Because if you are asking what practical steps we can take, the reality is that that's the elephant in the room. That is the elephant in the room. His very presence in the office is a violation of the sovereign will of the people. He knows it. We know it. So if he's really, really interested in changing anything, he should resign. And have it put in place a credible system that is capable of superintending free and fair elections. And we will never forget him in history. But then, that's just wishful thinking. Like me wishing I was a little fairer or a little taller. You hear them? Very sound and clear. How can you as a government, you want to make progress? And people are leaving the rural areas to the urban areas. Rural areas where we say we get vast land where agriculture they happen. Well, because of insecurity, everybody they run. The youth with all this their youthful energy, we're supposed to enter farm, farm. People like me, oh, I suppose they farm. You know, sir? But because of insecurity, we cannot go there. We cannot, we are not even sure of our own lives. Hey, farm, where you go, go. Now you go, yes, eh? they don't pay you. You know, sir? I'll be your people go to hear say they don't buy you because who they don't buy but no go here say they don't buy I'm like you don't die you die. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you, are you getting the point? Eh? So people are living the rural areas, so the urban areas where yeah? you be like say security they small. Beef up security and let us have an economy that is driven by production. Agriculture is production. You don't want to do it. You are changing national anthem. National anthem is your problem. Frivolities. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. The, our problems are staring us in the face. Solve it. Insecurity is a, a major one. You yes, sir. The youth don't have job. Make uh, uh, agriculture lucrative. Insecurity. Deal with insecurity. Oh, oh, I know them. Any insecurity that lasts more than 24 hours, government had the inside. Yes. Let me talk up. Let me talk. I'm gonna get one person we talk like <laughs> Who be talk that? She not remember. You get one. I'm gonna have for political corridor. We talk this. Thing. See, any insecurity way past 24 hours. Say, government had days. I mean, I agree with this particular thing. Because what is this? We are not making headway. Not nothing. The youth, nobody get work. The agriculture people now with papa don't leave land for them. May they go to farm. You know what I'm they farm now because if government don't give you work, oh guy, you go find work for yourself. You go enter farm, go farm. Even the farm said they don't feel farm. Not work no day. Everywhere don't pass for car. Now, now strike with their inside. Eh. Oh, now here as the left, eh, for to meet the for them. Say the only thing for this government to resign or come off for that office. Because number one, you are an illegitimate government. Nobody vote for you. You carry yourself, enter office. Resign, come off for there. Make person that have the confidence of the people enter there. Make it go work for the people. Are you, are you getting this? They keep telling us baby steps of pain. Follow us with this baby step. Which baby useless baby steps of pain you want us to follow you on? Okay, I walk. People are suffering. People are suffering. If this government no one knows people decide, make 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 knock them very well now. At least as I they talk like this, if other people follow me, they talk, maybe they hear and say, people they suffer. And they know. They know. Oh, 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 go live with you, oh, supposed to do good, they do it, you're not supposed to Eh? Misplaced priorities. I stand with the left around me. This government, resign if you don't know what you want. Come off of there. Make who go fit captain this ship called Nigeria. Enter. Eh? We know that you have actualized your long dream. I'll be your long whatever of becoming a president. Eh? President for one year. Your name goes to there and say you be president. You have achieved it. If you don't know what to do, get out. She dare poor. I come in peace. I'll go see on a later. Enjoy your your strike, but just carry for my say. You know, go see light too. All this period where the strike don't day. Light no good day. Anywhere. So if you are doing anything that has to do with Nepa, Chifuya, I'll go see on a later. 
Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why Innocent Vehicles has embarked on manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent Vehicles, the pride of African roads.